Hey, what's up guys? Gian here of Gadget Pilipinas. Happy New Year! Happy 2023 sa inyo lahat, no? And of course, this is our second episode of Steam Deck Files where I give you some pointers and tips on how to maximize your Steam Deck. Dito sa episode ito, pag-uusapan natin kung paano ba i-upgrade ang inyong SSD. Now, for those of you who are not aware, a lot of people are actually buying the 64GB um, Steam Deck, no? And that's not, uh, that's not bad. It's not, actually, it's one of the few things that uh, you can do to really you know, save up no? some peso. Now, some of you would probably know na umorder ako ng Steam Deck back in July 2021 at uh, natanggap ko naman siya noong uh, August no? of uh, this year. And I got too excited and uh, from August down to December, I actually produced quite a number of uh, Steam Deck contents no? here on our channel. Now, bago pa maging Steam Deck channel itong uh, ating channel, no? of, course, uh, of course, we do cover other things other than the Steam Deck. Uh, we thought that of really coming up with a series for you, no? Para naman kat papano mo maximize niyo yung inyong bagong bagong handheld device. May tatlong variants ng Steam Deck: 64 gig, 256 gig, at saka naman 512 gig. Just recently, ng episode one, no? Nag-unbox tayo ng 64 gig that we got from Kimstore.com. Ngayon naman, pag-usapan natin na, yeah, may 64 gig tayo, pero I realized na para feeling ko kulang yun. At marami sa inyo ang nakabili ng 64 gig na Steam Deck at gustong i-upgrade yon by yourself. Hindi naman masama na ipaubaya mo ang pag-upgrade sa ibang mga tao na nagbibigay ng magandang serbisyo. That's not really bad. In fact, you're helping other people no? uh, for you know maximizing what they can do. And also, syempre, tulong mo na rin yun, no? kasi meron silang skill. Mahahasa yung skill nila at ikaw naman ay mabibiyaan no? nung kanilang uh, talent or skill. Now, syempre, may mga iba naman sa inyo ay uh, would want to explore more. At yung iba naman sa inyo ay gustong gawin yun, no by yourselves. At dito, sa episode ito, pag-uusapan natin kung paano i-upgrade ang inyong Steam Deck. Alright, so ano pang hinatay natin? Let's jump right in. Alright, so the first thing that we need to have is of course a screwdriver. Dapat yung long shaft no para at least kat paano aabot dun sa pinakadulo para ma-reach mo yung pinakascrew. And of course, we have here a micro SD card. And for me, ang ginamit ko is itong USB hub. Dito ko sinaksak yung micro SD card na naglalaman ng recovery system files ng Steam Deck. Saan makukuha yon? Dito yon. Makukuha mo ang Steam Deck recovery instructions dito sa mismong particular page na ito. Nandyan din yan sa description box below. So, pwede mo i-click yan or you can just simply search Steam Deck recovery instructions sa Google o kaya naman sa Bing. Now, if follow mo lang yung instructions dyan, you just have to download the recovery image which you can just simply click doon sa mismong link na provided by Valve. The second thing you need to do is you prepare a USB key or a micro SD card na at least 8 gig or ang kanyang uh, capacity para naman maipasok mo yung recovery image sa yung gagamitin na USB stick o kaya naman ay micro SD card. As for the application, for Windows, ang gagamitin mo is yung Rufus Utility, that is the recommended application. So you can write the recovery file to the USB drive or micro SD. Kapag ka naman Mac OS, it's Balena Etcher. Kapag ka naman Linux, meron ding build na for Linux ang Balena Etcher. No? Pero meron siyang uh, instructions kung paano mo siya gagawin. Now in my example, now in my case rather, ang gamit ko ay Mac OS. Now once you have the files ready, bubuksan na natin ang ating Steam Deck. Siyempre, no? I recommend that you use the case provided by Valve if you wish to you know, take off the screws no? para safe yung mga screws ninyo. Huwag nyo rin kalimutan tanggalin yung micro SD card kung may nakasaksak kasi pag kaya nakasaksak at tinanggal mo yung cover sa likod, mababali yan. Ito na yung aking ginamit. No? I, this is the WD SN530 na 512 gig. Next thing that we need to do is uh, to make sure na turned off no, yung ating uh, Steam Deck before you begin and then account for all the screws available. Walo lahat yan. Now we're just taking off all the screws and make sure to put all the screws in the and make sure to keep all the screws in a safe place. Actually, itong nakikita mo ngayon is ang um, pinakamahirap na step no uh, sa pag-upgrade ng yung Steam Deck SSD. Ito yung pagtanggal sa back cover. Ang ginamit ko lang dito is uh, yung isang luma ko na na card no. Pwedeng ATM card na luma o kaya naman hindi mo na ginagamit na membership card at tinanggal ko lang yung bandang likod. Makakarinig ka dito ng parang crack no pag tinanggal mo siyang buo pero you don't need to worry about that. Make sure lang na intact lahat ng mga 
yung mga points, no, mounting points sa likod, and you're good to go. You are now ready to basically replace your SSD. The next thing we need to do is, of course, to also account for the three screws that you're going to remove. One is hidden dito sa mismong foil na ito. No? Uh, Dahan-dahan mo lang tanggalin yan, kagaya na ginagawa ko ngayon dito. You have to remember that there is a screw there. Alright? Tatanggalin natin yan ngayon. And the next thing is we have to remove the one on the lower left. Hindi pa tayo tapos. Meron pa sa upper left. Tatlo lang na screws yan. And pwede mo na siyang tanggalin. Keep all the screws in a safe place. Next is we remove the ribbon no? na nagko-connect sa battery saka dun sa motherboard. Huwag ka matakot dito. Just pull it slowly. Surely. No? Para matanggal yung uh, ribbon. And make sure na pag pinrest mo yung power button, hindi siya iila o hindi tutunog. At ito na, no? We are now going to remove the SSD, no, yung original na SSD, in this case 64 gig na eMMC, and replace it with the 512 gig that we have. Meron yung foil, no, uh, para lang at least maprotektahan yan sa init, yung pinaka SSD. Medyo mahirap tanggalin nga lang tong foil na yan, pero napagtagumpayan ko naman, no, kahit papaano. Alright, so ito ngayon, after that, is uh, as you can see, ito yung ating luma, no, um, uh, SSD and we are now going to replace this one with the SN530 that we got. Mura ko lang na kuya, no? less than 2,000 pesos. Umabot lang ng 2,100 if, if, if I should remember dahil lang sa shipping. At ipapasok na natin ngayon yung foil, original foil na galing doon sa kaninang tinanggal natin. We just have to, again, reconnect the ribbon ng battery to the motherboard. Pagka pinindot niyan, parang may marinig ka o kaya iilaw yung, ano, yung uh, pinaka-power button. You don't have to worry about it. everything again and dito huwag kang matatakot kasi baka feeling mo bakit ganun hindi, hindi siya umaandar now um, umaandar po yan no? you don't need to worry about that um, you just have to see kapag pinindot mo siya dapat iikot ng konti yung uh, pinaka fan and that's an indication that uh, it is successful no? now moment of truth ikabit na natin yung ating recovery image na nakalagay sa ating USB press and hold the volume minus button plus the power button, let go of the power button at saka i-press and hold mo lang yung volume minus button hanggang sa lumabas yung Steam Deck logo. Saka mo bitawan. Lalabas ngayon itong boot manager. Ang pipiliin mo dito is of course yung uh, USB no? na kaninang ginawa natin. And after that, it will boot. No? Huwag ka magugulat kasi parang una vertical yan and then it will reposition back to horizontal and you will be seeing this particular image. Now, once na mag-fully load yan, you will see this particular view. Ang pipiliin natin dito is yung image Steam Deck. Now, what's gonna happen is that it will perform a full factory reset. Lahat yan, all user info, install games, applications, or operating systems, lahat yan wiped out at i-replace niya with stock Steam OS. Now, since walang naka-install na Steam OS, saka, saka boot no, information, yung bagong nilagay natin na SSD, what's gonna happen is, re-imaging it will basically reinstall everything. You just have to follow and wait for it until it finishes. And proceed lang. Now, once it reboots, magugulat ka na Parang ang daming beses niya nagre-restart. And that is because it is re-imaging the SteamOS. Plus later on, you will notice na i-install pa niya yung pinakabagong update. And as you can see right here, 
we are now at the setup. Pero makikita mo, hindi ka makakapag-press ng any buttons. And that is simply because, kaka-reinstall pa lang ng SteamOS at wala pang quote-unquote driver na naka-install. Now, what we just need to do later on after going through all this process you're seeing right now is we are going to update the SteamOS. And once it updates, it will now be able to provide you access to the joystick, the touchpads, the buttons, and everything. So this is just the usual setup process that uh, you did no, a while back. You will also notice that you will get an update error. At kapag nakita mo yan, you just have to press the start button, tat, tat, touch it, at saka click mo yung setup, and you will just simply see again na it's installing. Huwag kang kabahan, no? Kapag biglang nag-stop siya, nag-error, tapos nag-stop. And once it's done installing, you just have to wait a bit. Usually, it takes about 10 minutes or so. And once it's done checking and installing, it will reboot. And as you can see right now, it says here, update complete, launching Steam. And it's now basically updating the Steam OS. Once na matapos yung boot up sequence, you will now have access to the joystick, touchpad, and as I mentioned earlier, all the buttons. And that's it. Just uh, grab your phone, if you have Steam uh, applications on phone mo, and just log in. You can just also log in as well, useful process with your username and password. And just like that, you have upgraded your SSD by yourself, and you've also updated the OS. Just like that, we upgraded the SSD of our Steam Deck from 64 gig to 512 gig. Siyempre, hindi yan uh, lahat ay uh, mahukuha mo. Hindi, hindi saktong 512 yan, no? Mga 460 lang yan. And that's normal. No? You don't need to worry about that. This is uh, the uh, original uh, SSD no? that came with our Steam Deck that we got from Kim Store. And iba-iba uh, minsan, no? Yung... Uh, a brand no nito no may Fison, mayroong 4C, and dami niyan. And uh, what we got is uh, the SN530, if I'm mistaken, na Western Digital. Now, I can confirm and of course, uh, as you can see no, uh, tama at uh, gumagana ang ating ang ating SSD na nakakabit. And uh, if you want to get that, I got it for a very good price, less than 2000 pesos. Um, link is in the description below at sana nag uh, nagbebenta pa siya no nung uh, nung mismong SSD na yan. Well, that's it, guys. No, uh, thank you so much for watching. Again, uh, para lahat sa lahat sa inyo, no, sumusuporta sa channel namin, maraming salamat. At uh, for those of you who are watching, we're non-Filipinos. Again, I, I, I'd like to tell you that I'm doing this because a lot of my uh, uh, my kababayan, no, are actually wanting to have um, a tutorial, no, na tagalog, no, tagalog. And uh, we're, we're doing this for them. But of course, uh, if you want to know more, just please do let me know in the comment section down below. Again, this has been GN, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.